happy 11 11 11 um, I mean sorry 11 11 12 only two 11s there I said three and also actually the time right now is like 11 08 a.m. where I am so I think I'll be recording this video as it's 11 11 which is just very strange some people don't have numbers show up a lot but a lot of people I know who are um, definitely star seeds, also other healer-ish type lightworker folk, see 11s a lot. And 11s have been important for me ever since I think high school was when I first noticed them. So it's been, you know, several years that I've been noticing the 11s. And um, I'm in my tree, as usual, so yay. Um, so far, I don't know how it's going for you guys, but this morning, I had the most incredible um, dreams, and they were they were symbol. They weren't literal travels, which definitely happens sometimes as well. But these were just crazy, and had to do with all these different aspects of my life that's going on, and some stuff I'm you know challenged by, and some stuff that's wonderful, and just all this amazing stuff. And then I woke up and remembered the dream, wrote down the dream, wanted some guidance on the dream, and a different type of entity showed up, you know, big and large and in charge in my face, and uh, whenever I connect with new types of entities, it's a little bit of a shock, so then I have to, um, you know, come back to center and go again. And it was really beautiful. She showed me all this cool stuff about the human Taurus field. Like, you know, our fields are, um, they look like apples. They're these great big, um, they go out several, feet in every direction and they come down through the center line and then circle up and around but on every side so they look like I said they look like an apple and she showed me how in the center it doesn't just come down directly as one cord it is spiraling and circling around the center line of the body and so today as I've been meditating I've been trying to enhance that flow and it's been really incredible presence is greatly increased by doing that and also I've been able to feel today and I think this has something to do with my being primarily raw again for the past week or so whenever I go mostly or all raw um, I have dirt on my hands from climbing the tree whenever I go mostly or all raw it's like the life experience I'm having goes into high def so I can see better hear better colors are brighter contrast is sharper my brain is working better, my mood is lighter, um, all these things. But anyway, so I do think it's related to that. But what I've been aware of is all the sentience inside my body. So you know how every cell is intelligent and then every molecule is intelligent and then every atom is intelligent and the subatomic particles are intelligent. And so I've just felt myself as this cloud of energy walking around of all the pieces being alive and intelligent and then also since our universe is fractal it goes out as well so you know of course my tree here is intelligent and then the park and the other things in the park and then the city I, Los Angeles definitely has a life and a pulse to it that's very unique in the country and the world and, you know so um, yeah I feel like this is a big activation day I know that for a lot of you guys it is as well and yeah just enjoy it this little boy running under the tree and he just fell and there's that moment of oh no is he gonna cry or not nope he just got up and kept going so do that if faced with the challenge 11 11 during mercury retrograde hmm oh i locked my kids on my car twice day before yesterday so i'm affected too it was awesome not. anyway have a great day i'll talk to you guys again this week still putting new retreats in order i'm hoping to have registration open for at least the January Elven Retreat in Utah by the end of this week. There's also a January Retreat in Hawaii, we think, a February Retreat in San Francisco, a March Retreat in the Tetons, which will be cross-country skiing focused. And hopefully all of those registrations will be open in the next two weeks or so, but I'll keep you posted. Um, Starseed Wilding is still plugging along. It's coming slower than I thought, but I think that after today it'll come a lot faster. Anyway. Re release, surrender to whatever's happening to you. Um, someone very close to me has a migraine today, and I think that it's the energy of her intuitive amping up, trying to come through her body. I don't know if you guys can hear those cheers, but that's how I feel about it, as she's like struggling with the migraine. <laughs> but I took some care of her this morning, and so hopefully she'll be good by this evening. Anyway, much love, go in peace. Talk to you guys again very soon, and again, happy 11-11.